Good morning to all of you from us here at St. Peter Lutheran in St. Albert, Alberta. We are on the cusp of Holy Week, one of the most important weeks of the whole year. And even though we can't be together this year, we are excited to share our worship with you. You can see over my right shoulder a collection of things that we will be using for our Holy Week services. Right here, a stack of palm branches that we're going to be distributing today to all of our members here so that you can join us in a palm processional. Tomorrow, during our worship service, we will be singing Psalm 118, the same psalm that the Jews would have been singing as Jesus rode into Jerusalem on that first Palm Sunday. We'll sing it too. And we'll parade around our living rooms singing that same psalm, waving our palms and, and singing praises to the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Monday Thursday doesn't have any materials on this kitchen island, but we will have a Zoom video conference night of prayer, thinking through and reading the words of Jesus' prayers on the night before he died. Over my shoulder, again, maybe a little behind those palms, you can see a stack of candles. Those are all going to be distributed out as well so that you can join us as we do our Good Friday worship service of darkness so that with these candles, as we extinguish each of these seven at the seven last words of Christ on the cross, you can join us in extinguishing your little tea light candles as well. We can't be together but we can still worship together. Same is true on Easter Sunday. I don't have any materials to distribute for Easter Sunday, but I do have a set of instructions that I'll email out to you later today that will instruct you on how to convert your front door or your living room window into a beautiful stained glass message that we can share with our community. We can't share this Easter joy in person together, but we can spread the joy of Easter with our community, showing the love that we have and the thankfulness for Christ's resurrection. It's still going to be different. It's not going to be the same. None of us have probably ever been in a situation where it's impossible to join in worship on Easter Sunday. But a friend of mine recently shared a comment that I find comforting as pithy and, and cliche as it may be, the church may be empty on Easter, but so was the tomb. And it's that empty tomb that gives us the hope, the comfort, the guarantee that because Christ lives, you too will live. I'm excited to join and worship with you together this holy week and wish you a blessed Easter from all of your brothers and sisters here at St. Peter.